In case you were wondering, it is over 90 degrees out, and I don't have air conditioning. I'm spending a lot of time in the basement these days. Last week, I got all democratic on you, and asked Twitter and Facebook to vote on my two leading requests thus far. And while Chili had received the most requests initially, Lasagna pretty much dominated the vote. In other news, I've been getting lots of helpful recommendations on the veggie burger front, so thanks for that. And I am happy to report that initial field testing is going well. Ooh. There will be a lot of vegetables in this lasagna. Shocker, right? Start by skinning and dicing up one yellow onion. Then slice up six to eight cremini mushrooms. These are often labeled as baby bellas. Add two tablespoons of olive oil to a large frying pan over medium heat and saute the mushrooms and onions together. In the meantime, dice up one smallish eggplant. I was strong like a lion. I was firm and when the onions have just become transparent, add the eggplant and a hefty pinch of coarse salt to the pan. Next, slice up a zucchini. and coarsely dice a red bell pepper. Now, don't be alarmed by the amount of garlic in this recipe. I use about five to six cloves, but feel free to adjust for your own tastes. When the eggplant looks like this, add the garlic, zucchini, and red pepper to the pan. Then open up a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes and add it to the pan once the vegetables have softened up. Bring the sauce to a boil, then lower the heat and let it simmer for about an hour. Longer is better. To make fake ricotta, squeeze all the water you can out of a block of extra firm tofu. Then add the juice of one lemon, one clove of garlic, and some fresh basil. Also add salt, nutritional yeast, and dried oregano. Mash the stuff with your bare hands until you achieve a ricotta-like texture. Then you'll need to cover it and store it in the fridge for at least an hour until the flavors blend. I'd personally recommend making it the day before. Now there's some debate over the benefits of cooking lasagna noodles beforehand, so what I like to do is submerge them in boiling water just until they're flexible, but not fully cooked. Lasagna assemblage is very straightforward, but the order of the layers is yet another matter of personal preference. So just go with whatever works for you. That is a 9 by 13 by 2 inch glass baking dish, by the way. Yeah, I forgot to put cheese on that layer. Whoops. Now, cover your beautiful lasagna in tin foil and bake it in a 400 degree oven for 30 minutes. Then uncover it and allow it to bake for 10 minutes more or just until the top turns golden. After you remove it from the oven, let your lasagna stand for about 15 minutes before you attempt to slice it. Still burning. Yeah. What does that tell you about lighter fluid?